Let's dive into the most jaw-dropping, top-trending WWE news picks that are guaranteed to blow your mind, including The Rock's rumored plan for Triple H, the WWE accidentally discloses details about Drew McIntyre's contract status, the WWE stops a title match after a star suffers a serious knee injury, CM Punk shows off stitched triceps after surgery, CM Punk is determined to make the greatest return ever, the dark truth behind Roman Reigns always taking shots at Seth Rollins, former Royal Rumble winner saves Cody Rhodes after Rock screws him over at WrestleMania, and more. Let's jump right into it. First of, the WWE accidentally discloses details about Drew McIntyre's contract status. Drew McIntyre's contractual status within WWE has been a topic of speculation since last year. Following his defeat to Gunther and Sheamus in a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania, rumors swirled about the Scottish Warriors' potential departure from WWE. Reportedly, contract negotiations hit an impasse, leading to McIntyre's absence from TV. However, WWE successfully brokered a deal, bringing him back at the Money in the Bank Premium Live event last year. Since his return, McIntyre has undergone a character transformation and is slated to participate in the 2024 Men's Elimination Chamber match in Perth, Australia. There, he will vie against five other superstars for an opportunity to challenge Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania 40. Despite reports from Pete Adu Insider in January 2024 suggesting that McIntyre had not inked a new contract with WWE, his current deal is set to expire shortly after WrestleMania 40 in April. While confirmation of McIntyre's re-signing with WWE remains elusive, the company may have dropped a significant hint regarding his future. WWE recently announced a live event at the Unipol Arena in Bologna, Italy, scheduled for May 1, 2024, preceding the Backlash Premium Live event in France later that month. In a press release, WWE included Mac Entire among the superstars slated to appear at the event, potentially indicating ongoing collaboration between McIntyre and the Stanford-based promotion. Fans attending WWE Live in Bologna, Italy will see their favorite WWE superstars from both Raw and SmackDown in action, including the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, Bianca Belair, Randy Orton, WWE Women's Champion Io Sky, Drew McIntyre, L.A. Knight, Bobby Lashley, Kevin Owens, main event Jay Lusso, and many more. Drew also graced the promotional poster for the event, hinting at a potential agreement between WWE and Mac Entire regarding a new contract. The Scottish Warrior has maintained a prominent presence on WWE programming in recent months. He headlined the Survivor Series War Games event last November and is slated to participate in the upcoming 2024 Men's Elimination Chamber match. With CM Punk sidelined due to injury, WWE has been teasing Drew McIntyre as a top contender for Seth Rollins' World Heavyweight Championship, further underscoring McIntyre's significance in the company's plans. Next up, the WWE stops a title match after a star suffers a serious knee injury. During tonight's tapings, a WWE superstar sustained a significant injury and required assistance to exit the arena. Shotzi was slated to compete against Lyra Valkyria for the NXT Women's Championship in the second NXT taping of the evening. However, unforeseen circumstances disrupted the scheduled match. Shotzi and Lyra Valkyria's NXT Women's title match during tonight's second hashtag WWE NXT taping was stopped due to a serious knee injury suffered by Shotzi. She was helped to the back and is being checked out now. According to Corey Brennan of Fightful, the bout was halted due to Shotzi sustaining a severe knee injury. During tonight's NXT broadcast, viewers witnessed Valkyria officially granting Shotzi an opportunity to compete for the NXT Women's Championship. However, the evening took a downturn for Shotzi as she appears to have sustained a significant injury. Additional details regarding Shotzi's condition are expected to surface in the coming hours. Shotzi has been an integral part of WWE for approximately five years, having signed with the Stanford-based company in late 2019. Among her notable achievements is capturing the NXT Women's Tag Team titles alongside Ember Moon, now known as Athena. Our heartfelt wishes go out to Shotzi, and we sincerely hope that the injury does not necessitate an extended absence from competition. CM Punk shows off stitched triceps after surgery. WWE superstar CM Punk recently posted a new update on his official Instagram account, showcasing his triceps following surgery. Punk sustained the injury to his tricep at the 2024 Royal Rumble Premium Live event during the climactic moments of the men's Royal Rumble match. Regrettably, the former WWE champion disclosed that his injury prevented his participation at WrestleMania XL. Throughout his recovery process, CCM Punk has consistently kept fans informed via his Instagram stories. In his latest update, he shared a picture of his triceps post-surgery, displaying the stitches. Continuing on, CM Punk is determined to make the greatest return ever. Punk's aspirations of headlining WrestleMania XL have been dashed, leaving him to bide his time for another opportunity to pursue his dream of gracing the show's show's marquee event. 
The seasoned veteran recently shared insights into his eventual comeback, asserting boldly that it will stand as the epitome of triumphant returns. I am in a lot of pain. It's mental more than anything. I can handle pain. I can power through hard PT physical therapy. The mental aspect of it, I think, is a lot harder than the physical. Day one, my comeback will be the greatest of all time. Punk narrowly missed clinching victory in the 2024 Men's Royal Rumble match, emerging as the final contender eliminated by eventual winner Cody Rhodes. The American Magnar secured his second consecutive Men's Royal Rumble victory, but initially declined to face Roman Reigns at Mania. However, he eventually reversed his decision and is now set to confront the Tribal Chief once more on the grandest stage of them all. The unfolding events will determine whether this chapter concludes differently. Do you long for Punk's presence on WWE TV? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. The dark truth behind Roman Reigns always taking shots at Seth Rollins. Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins were integral members of The Shield, arguably the most dominant stable of the 2010s along with Dean Ambrose, also known as John Moxley. The trio commanded WWE for nearly two years before pursuing individual paths. The disbandment of The Shield likely impacted Reigns profoundly, leading him to strive for connection with the WWE universe. When he eventually found it, Reigns emerged as the head of the table, presenting a formidable challenge to Seth Rollins. Both men adeptly exchanged verbal jabs, blurring the lines between reality and performance. At Phil DL 616, an ex-formerly Twitter user, succinctly captures the essence of why Reigns continually targets his little brother in two words, betrayal and insecurity. Another user, at Jada's memes, chimed in with their own explanation as to why the two superstars do not hate each other in real life, noting that the hatred is projected through their characters and doesn't represent the relationship Joe Anoa, Reigns, and Colby Lopes, Rollins, share in real life. I love how many people think they legit hate each other when their hatred is part of their characters. They both get on each other's skin. Roman is the guy Seth wishes he was and feels under his shadow. Roman is who he is now due to trauma created by Seth Rollins. To answer the question finally, while Roman Reigns does probably hold a grudge against Seth Rollins, it is only for a storyline purpose rather than the two having real-life enmity. Former Royal Rumble winner saves Cody Rhodes after Rock screws him over at WrestleMania. The lead-up to WrestleMania 40 resembles a gripping thriller movie filled with unexpected terms orchestrated by WWE's creative team. Bill Apter recently discussed how Cody Rhodes could conclude his storyline with Seth Rollins' assistance amidst The Rock and Roman Reigns' apparent alliance. Following a dramatic WrestleMania XL kickoff press conference, where The Rock delivered a resounding slap to Cody Rhodes, WWE is priming for a series of unpredictable events leading up to the grand event. While the rematch between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns is confirmed for WrestleMania 40, the addition of potential twists, such as The Rock serving as the special guest referee, adds to the intrigue. Bill Apter speculates that The Rock could influence the outcome of the main event between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes until Seth Rollins intervenes to aid the American Nightmare. Rollins, who won the 2019 Royal Rumble, has been portrayed as supporting Cody Rhodes in storyline, prompting Actor to suggest that Rollins might assist the challenger against the formidable Simone Dynasty. In the latest unscripted episode, Bill Actor also disputed the notion that WWE's decision to potentially scrap the Rock vs. Reigns match is akin to the company, canceling Anna the Giant vs. Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 3. I don't see it in the same lead as that Hogan versus Andra. I think what they are doing right now with Cody and Roman, I just have the feeling and it's nothing I know, Rock's going to be involved. Maybe as a special referee and Seth Rollins comes to Cody's rescue when Rock screws Cody and Cody wins up getting the title that way. I like the direction it is going in right now. Both Bill Apter and Dr. Chris Featherstone agree that WWE is fostering the perception of Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins as allies, hinting at a potential tag team confrontation against Reigns and Rock. At this pivotal moment, Triple H and the creative team possess numerous avenues to craft one of the most captivating WrestleMania storylines in recent memory. The Rock's rumored plan for Triple H. The journey to WWE WrestleMania has been marked by intriguing developments, particularly with the inclusion of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. In the recent unscripted episode, Bill Apter addressed rumors suggesting that The Rock might be orchestrating Triple H's departure from WWE, dismissing them as inaccurate. The speculation gained momentum when The Rock was appointed to the TKO board of directors a few weeks ago, coinciding with his insertion into the world title picture. Presently, The Rock has adopted a heel persona and appears to be aligned with Roman Reigns, while Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins engage in a few with the Samoans. As tensions rise at WWE Civil War looms with Triple H striving to assert his creative authority, Story. Amidst speculation that Dwayne Johnson is maneuvering to place his associates in key WWE positions, Brian Gewertz's involvement in WrestleMania storyline planning has fueled the narrative. However, Bill Apter believes The Rock isn't attempting to sideline Triple H. Instead, Dwayne Johnson likely recognizes Triple H's importance to WWE and acknowledges him as the most suitable candidate for the role. 
The Vince McMahon, the whole domino effect and everything. Right now, the rumor everyone is trying to make like it's really happening is that The Rock, this whole thing with him being on the board of directors, storyline or not the storyline. Eventually, he wants to bring his own writers in, Brian Gewertz and other people, and they were going to try and inch Triple H out of his position. I don't buy any of this, but you've heard the rumors I have soon, correct? They might have fought each other in the past, but Triple H and Rock are working together to present one of the most unique WrestleMania stories ever in WWE. And lastly, The Rock chooses the headline inductee for WWE Hall of Fame Class of 2024. In recent weeks, WWE has experienced significant transformations with the unexpected addition of Dwayne The Rock Johnson to the TKO Board of Directors catching many by surprise. As the Hall of Fame ceremony approaches, Bill Apter presented a scenario where The Rock could announce himself as the headline inductee. Given the WrestleMania storyline, The Rock has embraced his role as a heel, emerging as one of the most influential figures in professional wrestling today. During the latest unscripted episode, the notion of WWE considering The Rock's induction into the Hall of Fame this year was discussed. The prospect of honoring the Great One has been deliberated for years and bestowing the accolade upon him in 2024 could prove advantageous for WWE. As outlined by Bill Apter, The Rock's induction into the Hall of Fame would solidify assertions of his significant influence within the company. According to the esteemed journalist, the Brahma Bull could even opt to enshrine himself in the Hall of Fame. I think The Rock would be an excellent choice to be in that building on Friday night and get inducted into the Hall of Fame. Although, there is another angle there. Of course, he is going to be in the Hall of Fame, and he is on the board of directors. It's a conflict of interest, but maybe it's not in that contract. So if this gives more credence to his, I can do what I want because I'm on the board of directors. I choose me to be in the Hall of Fame. The Rock chose himself to be in the WWE Hall of Fame. What headline? Haptor expressed enthusiasm about The Rock headlining the Hall of Fame ceremony and pondered whether he would face resounding boos during the event. Dwayne Johnson has embraced his Hollywood rock persona and aligned with his cousin Roman Reigns is embroiled in a feud with Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins that could reshape the WrestleMania card. Would a Hall of Fame induction enhance the storyline, further amplifying the rock's heel persona? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more wrestling content.